it's your boy the Jackie Dumson. Check it out. Now, collaboration projects are the way to go in hip-hop. Which, by the way, let me just say this off top. This whole monkey see, monkey do attitude in hip-hop fucking sucks, okay? As a fan, it really fucking sucks. Because you get everybody copying the other person, and they think they're adding their own spin to it, and they think they're progressing, but really, you're just kind of looking and sound like somebody else. Now, it's the reason why music has gotten so stale over the years, according to me, because you get producers coming in the game, and it's usually a new producer. They come in with a new hot style. Like, say, when Lex Luger came in, everybody copied it, okay? Michael made it. Everybody copied it. DJ Mustard, everybody's copied it, or everybody wants it, okay? Everybody starts sounding alike. Now, that's not too progressive if you ask me. Now, as far as collaboration tapes, Drake and Future did a tape together. Now, everybody wants to do a collaboration tape, okay? People want Kendrick and J. Cole to do one, right? Of course, Migos and Young Thug got one. That's Migo Thug. And now we find out Fetty Wap and French Montana, they got one coming out. It's called Coke Zoo. Now, you're looking at what's supposed to be the cover. And by the way, shout out to someone from Colombia. And I do have people that listen from Colombia. They pointed out to me that, yo, that album cover of Fetty Wap and French Montana is actually the entrance of Pablo Escobar's mansion. And that's the drug lord, okay? I like both artists, okay? I mean, the problem I always see with collaboration tapes, though, is that when the chemistry isn't truly there, and it's a different chemistry than having a chemistry for a feature, when you're making a solid project, you're making an entire mixtape or an album, the chemistry has to be different. You can't just get in the studio with a motherfucker for like six days and really get some chemistry. That's why I thought Drake and Future shit was just average, okay? Sound like they were doing it just to do it because it looked good on paper. Wasn't much chemistry there so can Fetty Wap and can French Montana do it I don't know I like both of them separately I like of course French Montana which by the way if you don't know too much about French Montana other than the singles he has a dope mixtape collection yo mac and cheese like that whole series is completely dope I, lo- I like songs like Sanctuary. I like all his intro tracks. He always goes hard. And actually, I think he's better rapping over tracks with samples than all these tracks that got all these synths in it, okay? Now, Fetty Wap is a great song maker. So he makes catchy songs. People like him. Now, will they push each other to kind of make something new? Because Fetty Wap style is getting a little bit repetitive. Okay, how many times could you really come out talking about, yeah, baby, and of course, 17? Come on, man. We got to switch this shit up. And, of course, Fetty Wap, according to me, I see Fetty Wap. There's a lot of lanes that Fetty Wap hasn't fully touched yet. Like, he's a very talented and well-diverse artist. But right now, it feels like the songs that are coming out are constantly... uh, He's aiming for the top, okay? He's aiming for those swing, hit him out the park songs, which is great. Those are great, okay? Who wouldn't want to have and top the Billboard charts consistently? But you're going to realize people are going to get tired of that and it's not going to chart as well. Now, you got to be able to switch it up and make sure you keep a multi-dimensional approach to music. So if they both collaborate, and I'm talking about French and, of course, Fetty, Are they going to come up with something new, or is it going to be a bunch of features? I'm not too excited about everybody doing collaboration albums, because most of these niggas, they're lost on their own projects. So if you get with somebody else, you don't even know yourself. If you can't find yourself, how the hell are you going to find yourself and somebody else? So I will listen to it, okay? I'm hoping it's going to be good. If not, it might be average and we get one or two joints, but we'll see, okay? It could be dropping anytime in the next month. And we'll see. Get in the comment box what you guys like. Are you expecting it? Do you think it's going to be garbage? Do you think it's going to be good? Who would you rather see do a collaboration tape with either the artists, right? Would you rather it's like Fetty and Future? Would you rather it's like... uh, And by the way, let me just point this out. I should have pointed this out earlier. The reason why they're doing this, okay? They're not doing this because it sounded cool, okay? I keep telling you guys, there's business going on. Business. Big business business. Now, L.A. Reid, obviously, the CEO of Epic Records, he just realized, wow, Future and Drake really worked good for both of them. Now, and I'm talking about working good as far as they got some money out of it real quick. That's a real quick come up, which also means his collaboration between Fetty and, of course, French Montana, it's probably going to be a paid thing, too, where you got to get it on iTunes, okay? However, remember that now, Bad Boy went over to Epic Records, which means 
L.A. Reid is actually making the decisions for French Montana. So, he did a collaboration album before when it was Future. Now he's doing one when it's French Montana. Okay, so, get a comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe to Woody Jack Academics. I'm out.